to the All the Scum and Western Saints. Right. Say what you like, but it's a perfect afternoon for duck racing. Now, a trip down my memory lane. 56 years ago, I lived in Orlescombe and was football mad, along with a lot of other boys. We would kick a ball anywhere, across the road, school gates, as goals, anywhere at all. Then, eventually, we had a pitch up the lane opposite Sunnyside. So we decided to form a boys team and play real football matches. We held a jumble sale in the village hall and raised enough money to buy go posts from J.R. Lazel. Getting them to the pitch was a bit of a problem as the pitch was the other side of the village. Merv Joslin and myself decided to try the 24 foot crossbar to our bikes and cycle them to the pitch. On taking the second bar, we were stopped by the local policeman who was also on a bike. He gave us a good ticking off as he thought it was dangerous. But to our amazement, he then helped us carry the bar on foot to the pitch. So, pitch sorted, we picked the team to play Langford Avenue. Everybody in the team had a nickname. There was Paddy, Bumbo, Jumbo, Jozo, Dink, Abby and Dot, Smarty, Johnny G and Brad. That leaves me. <laughs> Unbelievably, I was given the nickname Gladys <laughs> by long life friend Alan Cottrell. At this point, I have to say bless him. This legacy has stuck with me for 56 years. As people still call me Gladys or Glad. So, Gladys says, enjoy yourselves. Spend lots of money. Your fate is now open. Ray. God bless the people of all of Scum and Western, including Alan Cottrell. And God save the Queen. Thank you, Gladys.